I wanted to create my own Pikmin 4 speedrun, so allow me to introduce you to Daddy Percent. The rules are simple, we have to become a father. And since there is no real choice of fornication on this desolate planet, the next best thing is to adopt some kids and become a stepfather. And who is the biggest mother figure in the game than the Empress Bulblax herself? So find her, kill her, and adopt her babies. How hard could it possibly be? But first, we're gonna need to learn the current early game routing method, so it's time I got researching. They get everyone on the material you charge first. the wall it to break it faster. The ice no flarlet oh, needed you unlock them here Jesus. faster. And then immediately the ends the piece. day. And then they leave. And then it's done. Did you get all that? Right, let's do it for real. Three, two, one, go. This might be a disaster. This might be sub-hour, if we're lucky. We're gonna play Pikmin 4 again and again and again with as many excuses as we can. Sometimes it will be legitimate speedruns, taking on the actual roles that, like, official speedrunners would say you need to follow. Other times, we'll just make up our own fun gag, like Daddy Percent. You never know, maybe the speedrunning community will pick it up, but I doubt it. So, we need him to use all four of his spines. Then he can't be stopped. Or he can't stop us. Especially with good old Moss here biting on top. And so with the first boss down with one simple trick, it was time to tackle the biggest hurdle of any Pikmin 4 speedrun. How are we gonna design our character? So it's gonna be the second of every option. There we go. That's our character B. She's perfect. And now with the hard part out of the way, it's time to tackle the real bastion of this run. This damn route. Go for it. Do it. I'm trying to send it. There you go. I've lost valuable time. That was a solid two second loss right there. It's too heavy. Okay, oops, sorry. At least I did the cutscene first. That's also got to be too heavy. Where's the Pikmin? I've already screwed up. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Yeah, it's not looking good right off the bat, but no matter what, I will be gaining the world record for Daddy Percent. Not because I am the fastest, but because I am the first. You can't lose at a speed run you've created yourself. Now at this point, you may be wondering, where even is the Empress Bulblax? Well, let me give you a little regional tour. We need to get through this entire area and go to area two to unlock the ex Empress Bulblax. The first area of the game is the Sun Speckled Terrace and the Empress Bulblax is not here. It's actually over in the blooming Arcadia, over in the cave curled round to the right. So on top of needing to gain Ice Pikmin to break the gate, Ochi to open the mushroom pathway, Ochi's swim ability to reach the land there, and enough materials to build structures towards it, it also means we have to finish all of Area 1 as fast as possible, which means gunning for caves as soon as, and grabbing the most valuable treasures above the ground, as well as any other cheeky tricks we can find along the way. So these guys kind of did need to be fought. We have you guys on this. Okay, it won't do it for us. Can you guys like aim up here? Thank you. So we ignore the wild Pikmin. We come round here to grab these jars to get our Pikmin instead. But we have Ochi then doing this. No, because I've gone and messed up. I needed the reds with me before I did that. Oh god, have we done a mess up. Mistake one has happened. This is not mistake one. This is like mistake five at this point. Every trick we have tried has fumbled in some way, other than Ochi bashing down walls faster than Pikmin. Right, so now that we're out of cave one, we'll get a status report. Lovely. And then we are to immediately end the day. We're going to completely be winging it by area two, but that's fine. Actually, I'm going to be winging it now, trying to do the caves efficiently. Right, second cave, I believe, was over here, right? Yes, there it is. That was just my memory going for that one. Okay, so then, Ochi comes down here so that they can get through here. Oh, that's it. And then they start taking the puzzle piece. That's right. Lovely. We then have to manually switch over to character B, who's then just here, unable to do anything else. But what they can do... What we're trying to set up here is a cheese trick we observed in our demo speedrun research, whereby the player had Ochi fake out the game so that they could both make treasure progress and control Ochi at the same time. Of course, when we try to replicate the move, is once Ochi gets stuck. Oh no, Ochi isn't stuck. Oh, uh, well, we're, we're cheesing it anyway now. With some... Oh my god! You did not just do that to me, game. Yes, you saw that right. This game, at that pinnacle moment, decided to freeze as I was throwing Pikmin to fling them off the edge. Never to be seen again. 
I only had 12 to start with. If this is the start of my speedrunning career, we've got a long track ahead of us. Ochi, can you charge? You guys all saw that lag, right? Oh my god, what is this? Oh man. We came here to get yellow Pikmin, that's right. I am screwing it up royally. And then you're fine. And then you're fine. Okay, I think that's all the treasure here. I feel like I've lost the ability. Can I not charge? Is charge hidden somewhere? Is that a thing I get later? That's so strange to me. Yes, this is something you have to buy now. God, this feels like so slow suddenly. It is. Uh, but then Ochi needs to be over here when he's not. Like that's gonna take time as well. Oh, well then go here. Ah, it's another tutorial to go here. Oh. There's no go here feature. Okay, early days. I forget that everything's behind an upgrade. They were like already there. And this weighs 15. How did they do that? Ah, good to know the research we were watching less than half an hour ago worked wonders. Oh shoot, it's the other way. I've gone the wrong way. Ooh, just juggling well, don't mind me. Now I heard Rush is slightly faster, assuming you don't bump into anything. So I won't bump into anything. Cool, right, then we come straight here for this baseball. Lovely, skippable, not skippable. Why did the first one say plus to skip and the others didn't? I have no idea. Okay, I remember this quite well. They killed this guy, and uh, killed this guy too, and then they had everyone on this? I think they did. Whoops! This is still not enough. This is nine. Did we lose an ice Pikmin? Oh, don't tell me that's one of the guys I fell threw off the edge. I have eight. I have nine. I need ten! Oh, is this, is this, ru is this run ruined? What's happened here? I also don't have enough materials! Oh, no, wait, no, we... Oh my god, this run's ruined. We've ruined the run, everybody. We're also now missing all 10 ice Pikmin required and the materials just to go up one floor. This run is going great. Unless more materials come out of here. Oh, okay. Not our most efficient run. Oh, you don't say. Thankfully, we found some last minute minerals in a nearby shroom as well as ice Pikmin on the upper floor. Maybe all hope isn't lost just yet. Okay, now we have enough ice Pikmin to do this. Can you just like blast through and give us a bunch of minerals? Because I know we're going to need it. Thank you. Actually, no, you need the ice Pikmin, damn it. Shoot. I don't know why I thought they would not drown if they were on Ochi, but okay. Right, this cave is where everything finishes, I believe. Why are we not done? What have we missed? Unless it's just there is more. It might just be there's more. They didn't do this. They were already done by now. I've missed a treasure along the way, haven't I? Oh, we can't fight there, actually. So we do have to do this manually. Every blockade along the way is going. Lovely. We'll jump here. Open the way out, but not go for it yet. Joy-Con be drifting. Bam. Please tell me it finishes there. That'd be lovely if it did. It didn't. So instead, we just had to wing it! Backtracking our own steps to find our missing treasure, just to leave these cursed lands. One of these ice things was relevant, huh? Yeah, that was what it was. Typical. Did the enemies, like, fill the gap? And it still wasn't enough! Oh my god, get me out of this hellhole! Not even the enemies were enough to pass 1,500 sparklium. Those were one each, weren't they? I think I just saw them go up by one. Ah, uh, three. That bulb orb would have filled the gap if only I did something. Is the bulb orb still there? I need eight. I'm fighting for eight here. And finally, finally, after harvesting several K's worth of dwarf bulb orb corpses, we can finally leave with an amicable 39 minutes. Only twice the length of our speed run guideline. But now it's time for area two. You heard the roadmap. We just need to reach here. We need to find minerals, and then everything else we do ourselves in some way. There's minerals. Kill him. Kill this guy. No, we do need all of you to do that, actually. Right, we can't enter that way. I want to get to the second base land, which is here. Can Ochi not swim? Big upset there. We need to work that out. Yikes. What would you call this past me? Mistake two, perhaps? I don't think so. Where's swim? Do we need to get more pup drives to do this? I guess I have to manually walk it then. Oh shoot, this is way more than I thought. 
Swimmers automatically learn via story progression. You see, a smarter person would have used the time to get the charge upgrade while here, but not me. Anyway, two sunsets later and we got what we needed. Time to actually begin. 46 minutes in. It unlocks two days when he tries to swim. Ah, we've got time to work it out, but you know, we are on a timer. Oh, doggy paddle, I saw it. Doggy paddle could swim faster, let alone swim at all. You learnt it yesterday when you skipped the cutscene. Ah, Twenty of you should be perfect. Why was I not holding Y? What's wrong with me? Let's go. So this time we're gonna go round to the base, to where we were before. No drowning now. Good boy. Uh, there is a creepy chrysanthemum here. Do we need to worry about you? Probably do. So let's kill you. Cool, perfect. Fight him, kill him, destroy, good. All right, he is unkillable. We're gonna skip, we're gonna skip. So we need these guys. Then we break these mushrooms. Love that. Are you killing anybody? You're not, fantastic stuff. Translation, all that time spent fighting the creepy chrysanthemum was a colossal waste of time. This way, look this way, buddy. Thank you, thank you. And we're good, and we're good. Avoid the Dan Dory battle over there, because that's Father not helpful to us right now. We might squeeze in doing this in under an hour. It'll be tough, but I think we can make it happen. Kingdom of Beasts. And so at last we have made it. The Empress Polblax lies asleep down on the third sub-level, guarded by a barrage of enemies. Mostly skimmable, right? It's time to find the ultimate mother to become the fastest daddy. Sorry, buddy. Please don't burn and hurt us. Ah, oh, I messed up. What do you think? Are we good enough for this? We're doing it anyway. We are not good enough for this. Confirmed. What really do with the Echo Pikmin, though? Especially Reds. They're really good at fighting. All right. One more attempt at this damn Bulb Orb that's apparently really putting us through the ringer. Ripping pies. Peace to that little guy. Shoot, I've messed up. Uh, oh! Did they die from that? I don't know what happened there, but we have 22. That might be a good number. Ooh, yes, you know what? These guys might be very helpful. I didn't necessarily need the cutscene, and I don't think they're gonna be that helpful, but um, sure, we'll take it. We'll take the 10 rocks that they give us. I guess they contribute to, they're mandatory. What am I saying? They are mandatory. Okay, and we're coming up to it. We are coming up to it. I believe this is them. Originally, it was going to be just meet the Empress Bulblacks. We will become a father with them and have children in the future. But no, kill the Empress Bulblacks. That is what is required to beat. Oh my God. This is what is required to defeat Daddy Percent. We have found the alternate mother. And though she does not currently have a bajillion children, we do know she's the one with the ability. And therefore, this, this speed run ends when her life ends. Pikmin surviving is not necessarily mandatory anymore, so maybe we'll just have fun as we go. Not with that. Preferably the rock Pikmin. They are better suited for this kind of deal. I screwed up. I shouldn't have thrown the rocks beforehand. Oh well. Definitely could have done this on a three rounds, but that's fine. I think last time it took me a one round, so, you know, always room for improvement. Don't do it again now! What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Daddy Percent is done. And there it is, Daddy Percent. The first ever Daddy Percent completed. The children were just quartered away out of frame somewhere. And with a sub hour with a 55 minute time, we can now officially claim that we have the world record for the Pikmin 4 speed run, Daddy Percent. Someone already beat it. I. I took a month hiatus after streaming this, and since uploading, MJ the Shiny Hunter already beat my time. Actually, they did it before I even left. Ah, oh, son of a bitch!